Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For today's Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm going to be showing the Pullout Playhouse. It's the beautiful and iconic vanity. It has drawers, secret compartments, a mirror, and little rooms inside just for Polly and her friends. It also packs up very seamlessly and you can carry it around with this handle. I absolutely love this set because it is so gorgeous, so girly. It's multifunctional, it's not just a toy. There are compartments in here where you can put your actual things. Best of all, I got this a long time ago and it is in great condition. In fact, great doesn't really describe it. It's more super amazing. There are virtually no scratches. I didn't have to do any restoration work whatsoever. There's no chips or anything in these flower patterns. There is a little bit of chipping here, but it's so minuscule, I don't even care. So first, let's go through the exterior. This is immediately recognizable. We all see this in our heads when we think about Polly Pockets. We don't quite know what it's called, so we just call it the vanity, the mirror, the jewelry case. It is called Pull Out Playhouse because these are little compartments that you can pull out to reveal the world of Polly Pocket inside. So on the front, we see those drawers. Here's another drawer on the bottom. The handles are pink flowers, very girly. And I mentioned earlier, we have this flower pattern all around here. I believe it's just a sticker, which is why I'm super shocked that it's in amazing condition. It almost looks like whoever I bought this from didn't play with this at all. Then on top, we see the Polly Pocket logo, fully intact and normally, even if the logos look nice, I use my vinyl sticker so that they all match. And I am gonna do it at some point, but for the showcase, I just want to show the logo in its natural state. And here is the handle so we can carry this around. If I didn't know better, I would never have guessed that this was a toy. It kind of looks like a makeup kit. Then on the back, we have a secret compartment. We can open this up by twisting this flower handle and we can see a secret compartment. You can put some jewelry in here, some candy, more Polly Pocket figures, your miniature creations, whatever you want to put in here. On the very bottom, we have the Bluebird logo and the year, which is 1991. Then we have this drawer and we just pull it out. That's actually a lot of space. This is where I normally put the characters or maybe if you have a whole collection of Polly Pocket characters that don't fit in the compacts, this is a great place to put them. Now we're gonna open this top part and it is the mirror. And we're starting to see the little rooms that are inside. Again, this mirror is in great condition. It's very reflective. It's actually a real mirror. I'm really impressed at the quality of this whole thing because this was from 1991. Now to open the rest of the rooms. how they look opened and I will zoom out at the end of this video so we can see the entire thing. We are going to start over here because it looks like the entrance to the house. First we have this single step which takes us into the living room. We have some modern couches that conform to the curvature of this compact. We have one of those old school TVs that are really thick in the back and an old school telephone. I miss those. We also have a little bit of some plant decoration back there. And overall, this looks like a very minimal, modern living room. Then we have two staircases here, which take us to the same room, which is this outdoor dining area. Here's a cute little orange fence. There's a dining table in the middle with some food on it, four chairs all around for the characters, a little plant decor. And I can't quite make out what those are, but let's just say maybe it's some napkins, condiments, or possibly just more decor. For some reason, this reminds me of Arizona or a desert place where they have furniture outside the house. They have kind of a desert scape thing going on. If we pull this out a bit more, we can see the grill. We are cooking some steak. We also see the tongs back there so we can pick these up. This is a fancy mansion. When you have a whole kitchen outside your house, you know you've made it. And going down the stairs, we get to our indoor kitchen. If you don't have two kitchens, are you even living? Here we have another dining table with delicious food on it, a pink chair, which kind of looks like the crafting chair that I use, except it doesn't have this back piece to it. And we have a bed for our animal, although we don't get any animal figures, but just the fact that it's implied, that makes me happy. Back there, it looks like this is a radiator. Here's a door. It doesn't open, but I think it might lead to the other parts of the house. We have this teal fridge, which looks very vintage and reminds me of 
50s kitchens. And I was sure that it opened up, but I don't think it does. Then we have our sink and dishwasher, and we have our oven. And this oven does open up. Those look like bonbons? Macarons? Do you even bake bonbons? And up here we get a fancy flower design. On the other side, we are back outdoors, and we have the fanciest backyard slash pool I have ever seen. Right away we see the swimming pool. It looks so cute. You can even fill it up with real water. Some nice tiling over here for added decor. There's even a slide so we can have extra fun. And down the stairs we get to a nice relaxation area. We have a bed and we can read a book. There's also a cactus here and I think this is why I thought this looked like Arizona or some sort of desert scape. Here's also another area where we can dry off and relax. And the last room is our bedroom. We go down the stairs to get to the bedroom. Here is our comfy bed and we can slide this open to reveal a second bed. Here's some suitcases. I guess this is an Airbnb or something. There's a little rug here. We have an armoire where we can put our clothes. Some stuff on top of it. Don't really know what those are. Maybe that's the TV remote? That looks like a block of cheese. And way back there is our bathroom. We have a sink, a shower, a little toilet, and some bathroom rugs. It goes without saying that the rooms are so gorgeous, full of details. I love the pastel colors. I also love the theme that they've chosen, which is kind of a desert scape. It also kind of reminds me of Florida, which I know is the opposite of a desert, but the outdoor patio design just kind of gives me Golden Girls vibes. Here are all the characters, and we are lucky because we get four of them. And yes, they are all in amazing condition. I did not have to do anything. She was just a tiny bit chipped right over here, but that was it. I really lucked out with the set. First we have Polly, and it looks like she is wearing a lavender jumpsuit. That's a power move, Polly. She's also got white shoes, and it looks like she has a headband, but she's been painted yellow all the way around. I will give this a repaint at some point, just because I like all my characters to look vibrant. And when I do, I'm just gonna add a little bit of lavender here to match her jumpsuit. And here is Pixie. She has a towel on her head that is so creative. I haven't seen this in any of the Polly Pocket dolls yet. It also looks like she has a robe on, and she is just relaxing. She just got her face did, her nails did, everything did. She is living the life. And this is Bella. She has a short bob hairstyle. She's wearing a long white dress with purple shoes. She also looks a bit older, so I don't know if she owns the house. Maybe she owns this Airbnb and she's letting Polly and her friends stay here for the weekend. And here is Midge with her signature red hair with bangs. She's wearing a bathing suit because she's ready to go swimming in that fancy pool. And that was the amazing, beautiful, gorgeous, iconic pull-out playhouse. It is so fun going through my vintage Polly Pocket collection because it really does take me back to the 90s. This is such a creative set and I hope they bring back a concept like this with the modern Polly Pockets. And I like that they displayed it in such a way that makes you feel like you can actually live here. I really can't get over how beautiful this looks, especially when all the compartments are open. It just looks so visually striking. I love the architecture. As a designer, I especially love how it has form and function. It looks gorgeous, but you can actually use it to store your things. And it is a toy, so you can play with it, you can store things in it, you can carry it around. It is a 100 out of 10 toy. I love it so, so much. Thank you for watching this Polly Pocket Showcase, and I'll see you on the next one.